the deep roads as you want. You have the coin to do it. Well, well, if it isn't the man of the hour. Do I know you? I know him. I thought Bartrand told you to clear off, Dougal. Calm yourself, Varric. I just wanted to meet your brother's new business partner. Yes. Bartrand was falling all over himself to enlist my help. And that's what I need to talk to you about. Dougal's one of my dear brother's ex-partners. Bartran turned aside my offer of help, even though I had the coin to spare. Thing is, I still think it's a promising venture. The fool won't let me invest, but if someone like you invested on my behalf... What do you think? Hard to say. Dougal's never done me any harm. See? There you go. Still don't trust you. You're as sour a bastard as my brother without the family connection to make it easier to swallow. Do what you like. I came to you, not to him. But we do need the coin. Bartrand was pretty desperate for help. He must have had a good reason to turn you down. He did. We had a... disagreement. They tried to kill each other. You've met Bartrand, yes? Someone would need the patience of a Bronto not to want to kill him. But what's done is done. Now his pride won't let him take my coin, even if it ruins him. He won't be happy if I do this. He'd lose his mind. Not that it wouldn't be funny to watch. Then why tell him? Bartrand is better off not knowing a lot of things. This way he's happy, you're happy, and I'm happy. We're all happy. Just what kind of terms are we talking about here? I give you what Bartrand needs. Bartrand thinks it's your coin. Then when the expedition's done, you pay me back double. What if I don't have double? This might all be for nothing. If you really think it's such a waste of coin, why go at all? I think double's the very least I could earn back for this kind of investment, don't you? I can smell a rotten deal from twenty paces. No thanks. Think you can come up with a coin all on your own, eh? Fair enough. Hawk will find a way. Really? From what I can tell, it seems your friend enjoys spending coin more than saving it. You change your mind? Come talk to me. I doubt this expedition is going anywhere in the meantime. Are you safe, Fenris? No. You know, some guards give people the opportunity to lie if it will keep the peace. You can see what I am. Lie to yourself if you must. I need to find my wife. What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. We're done here. <laughs> Useless. Why are we still paying those sluggards? You should pay someone else. Like me. I like being paid. If you can find Ninette, 
I will gladly pay you. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. The guards disagree. They are more disagreeable than my wife. Maybe your friend is more sensible. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have done something to her. Even if... Well, I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. Do you think Nanette might be in trouble? It's her own doing. Gallivanting about with men half her age. She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. You're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her. Nunet keeps the company of other men, huh? And makes no secret of it. I'll be better off with her gone. <sighs> well, as long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it, they would ruin me otherwise. I can't imagine why she'd leave you. You're such a prize. Huh? It wasn't always like this. We were in love once. She defied her parents to marry me. Sometimes, I wonder if I dreamed those years. How long has your wife been gone? About a month. I wasn't worried at first. She's run off before. Nina is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. Why would her family think you did something to her? They think I married her for her inheritance, and they know we have been fighting. They believe this is reason enough for me to hurt her, but I swear, on Andraste's pyre, I have done nothing. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I didn't know she visited whores, until Jethan sent a letter to our house. He even sent her flowers once. Lilies, hmm? Her favorite. Ah! Talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, Sarah. Absolutely.
Good job, Hawk. Huh? So, Elf, that uh, thing you do with your hand... I can already tell this isn't going anywhere pleasant. I bet that makes pickpocketing easier. I'll try it sometime and find out. Today's my rest day, but I'll make an exception for you. What can I say? Why work if you're not working hard? I can see why Nanette liked you. You're feisty. <laughs> A refreshing change from the pale slug I married. I hear she finally left her worthless husband. Good for her. I just wish she'd said goodbye. Did she tell you she left her husband? No. I just hope that's what she did. Ghislaine only wants her for her family's wealth. Nanette's a jewel. Elegant, worldly, just the perfect level of depraved. Ghislaine doesn't deserve her. Do you think Nanette has come to harm? I hope not. Everyone loves Nanette. Sometimes twice a night. <laughs> Ghislaine's the only one who might hurt her, and he doesn't have the balls for it. Ghislaine knew about you and Nanette. Did he talk to you? The man is incapable of talking. He came here, yelled at me, called me a dirty knife-ear, among other things, and accused me of corrupting his wife. We had him thrown out. Were you hoping Nanette would leave Ghislaine for you? Of course not. I know my place. I offer a service, that's all. Anyway, there was someone else looking for Nanette. A Templar. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me either. I can't see why a Templar would be interested in anyone who isn't a mage. Any chance Nanette's an apostate? Well, she certainly cast a spell on me. <laughs> anyway, if Nanette was a mage, I think Emmerich would have said so. Someone else Nanette spent special alone time with, perhaps? She always liked men in uniform. You could ask him yourself. Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation in Darktown. You could see if he's still there. And if you find Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime. Back again? Sure you're not interested in my many, many services? I was just passing through. Have it your way. You are known, Fenris. What? I'm going through Jevon's neglected reports. Some involve you and requests about you. By whom? I don't know. They're old, poorly kept. But you should be on your best behavior. Thank you for getting rid of them. I didn't.
Make her turn his gaze on you, child.
Egregio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Denarius used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. Nothing like a bit of fear with your wine. That's what Denarius used to say. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You could have offered me a glass first, you know. There's more, if you're really interested. Perish the thought. How else would you redecorate the walls? <laughs> hmm. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I grew up in Ferelden. It will always be my home. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? I have to admit, it's an attractive idea. But not now. I understand. Still, to have the option... ...must be gratifying. Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but... ...there is no life for me there. Is that where you're from? So I've been told. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus, though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No, it is better to wait for him to leave his fortress, fight from a fortified position. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. You've been on the run a long time, then. Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. Sounds like a tough situation. I'm not made of glass. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Yes, you should. Had I known Anso would find me a man so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. It turned out well enough. It did at that. I will not keep you longer. Another time, perhaps.
I'm special because I'm pale. Thank you, Sirrah, for coming along when you did. I am Emmerich. You're older than I thought you'd be. Nanette seems to go for the young, pointy-eared sorts. What? Nanette de Carac. I hear she got around. And you were asking about her, so I just... assumed. Preposterous. I was concerned that she was in danger, and that is all. However, the investigation has been a waste of time. That sort of attitude will never pay off. Ha! I was eager at first, but failure has leached all enthusiasm from me. This all started when Meren, one of our Circle Mages, disappeared. I found it odd. She was a bit older and hardly adventurous. Then I heard about Ninette and two other missing women. I had a friend who disappeared once. Turns out he was under my bed. Drunk. What? I think the disappearances are connected. And I suspect foul play is involved. Doesn't the Circle use phylacteries to keep track of its mages? We followed her phylactery to a foundry, but found nothing. I had heard of sympathizers smuggling mages through Darktown, so came here hoping to pick up the trail. But no trace of Merin. And as you've seen, asking the locals hasn't made me very popular. Have you mentioned any of this to the city guard? They say there's no proof the disappearances are connected. They think the women just left home. That it happens all the time. People don't just disappear. Perhaps they were murdered or kidnapped. We found no bodies, no ransom notes. Those women just vanished. Mages routinely flee the Circle. Perhaps Marin just wanted freedom. She had always been loyal. She received lilies from an unknown suitor, and some of us thought she may have gone to meet him. Perhaps her disappearance is linked? Don't you hate it when something goes missing? I lose things all the time. I... what? The women? They're missing and you can't find them? Ah, right. I cannot lie, Sirrah. I tire of searching. This battle showed that I'm no longer the warrior I used to be. I know when to walk away. Here, take my findings. Perhaps you can make more use of them. I'm going back to the gallows. I'm too old for this. A foundry in Lowtown. I should look into that. If you have a plan, get to it.
I thought all the dwarves had beards. Where's yours? I misplaced it, along with my sense of dwarven pride and my gold-plated noble cast pin. I thought maybe it fell onto your chest. Oh, the broody elf tells a joke. I don't brood. Friend, if your brooding were any more impressive, women would swoon as you passed. They'd have broody babies in your honor. You're a very odd dwarf. And you thought I was joking about the pit. Why does everything we do have to involve magic? That's a lot of bones. A severed hand, a ring, and a pile of bones. Emmerich will want to see this. And I should bring the ring to Gisl... It might belong to Nanette. Someone's left a surprise here for us. Piece of cake. Move on.
Still lacking the funds for Bartran's little venture, I assume? My offer stands, you know. Think my brother always has something up his sleeve? He'd better. You change your mind? You're very different from other elves. No, I, I just... You look different. There's no denying that. It is what I am. And unlike the problems you claim to have, I really did have no choice. Do we know anyone who isn't brooding every hour of the day? Like attracts like, it seems. Recognize your mage? This was left in the foundry you mentioned in your notes. I was also attacked by shades. These are human bones. <sighs> then there is no chance of finding Meren alive, or any of the others. If they're not dead, watch out for a bunch of boneless women flopping through the streets. Show some respect. I will bring this to the city guard immediately. It should be enough to convince them the disappearances are worth investigating. Is brooding a sport into winter? Do they hold competitions, hand out trophies for the best scowls? I'm not brooding. Moping, then. You seem like you're a champion at it. I'm perfectly content at the moment. Oh, so that's you smiling. Hm. Glad you clarified that. I'd never have known. I couldn't bring back your wife, but here's a ring. It looks pricey. Oh, Ninette's wedding ring. Yes, look at the engraving. Forever faithful, forever yours. Oh, written in happier times. Where did you find it? It was on Ninette's hand, which was cut from her body. She's dead. On her hand? Huh? I see. Well, maybe you should take this back. I don't want anything that might link me to her death. 
Especially with their family asking questions. No. They're going to blame me. I just know it. Excuse me, sir. I have arrangements to make. to sell today, guardsmen. My shipment's late. Well, good luck to you then. Clothing from here to Antiva. Not much to see here. 